Thank you for checking out this new Software Keep video. At Software Keep, we don't just sell software, we want to help you get the most out of it. And today we're going to go over the menu system in Word. A lot of people know what they want to do with Word, but they can't find the features that they're looking for on the menu. So let's just kind of go over it real quick. The home menu here, you're going to spend a lot of time here. This is where you choose your font. You choose the size of your font. You can apply bold, italics, underline, strike through. You can choose some word art. You can color your fonts. Um, here you can increase or decrease the size of your font. Change case. You can insert bullet and numbered lists. You can align left, center, align right, or fully justify. You can adjust the line spacing. This is where you're going to do a lot of uh, formatting of your documents. So you'll spend a lot of time here. You can also access styles here. We will go over styles in another video. Styles are cool. Once you master them, you can really... Uh, focus your document. If you want to make more complex documents, go to the insert menu. The insert menu, you can put in cover pages, blank pages, page breaks, tables, pictures, shapes and art of all kinds. You can add movies and music to your document. You can put in web links. You can put in comments. Headers, footers, page numbers, text boxes, word art, drop caps, symbols, any component you want in your um, document you're going to do right here on this menu. If you have a touch device, you're probably going to love uh, the draw feature. You can draw on a computer as well, um, for sure, but it really shines on touch devices. Uh, they have some great drawing features if you like to handwrite. If you have a touch device and a pen, you are going to love the draw uh, features here. On the design tab, Word has come a long way. It's not just a word processor. It's a lot like a desktop publishing program. Uh, and here on the design menu, you could create flyers. You could create brochures, booklets. Um, you have a lot of pre-designed uh, templates up here. Uh, you can choose one, use it as is. You can pick a theme. Uh, you can create your own themes by choosing colors, fonts, uh, adjusting the spacing. And you can, if you find one you really like, you can set it as your default. So the design menu lets you do a lot of desktop publishing type stuff. Layout, this is where you set up your margins, your page orientation, uh, put columns in if you want, automatic hyphenation. Um, you've got a selection of common margins here. You can do custom margins uh, in Word. The uh, one inch margin all the way around is the default. You can easily bring that up or down. You can even type it in there if you want. However you want to do it, you can apply that to the whole document. You've got page set up. You do that all here. That's how you lay out your page. References. This is where it's really going to shine for students. One of the hardest things students have to do is citations. They get graded on them. They're hard to format. Not anymore. Click the citations tool. Choose the style you want. Plug in your information. Word will format it for you. It's that simple. You can insert bibliographies. You've got... Uh, you can insert footnotes and endnotes, a table of contents. You can cross-reference. You've got these great intelligent search features built right in. You can do your research without ever leaving Word. It's excellent. Mailings. Uh, not everybody will use this, but if you work at a company or if you run an organization where there are a lot of mailings, you can set up envelopes, labels, do mail merge. All of that here, like I said, most people won't use it. Uh, if you need it, it's here. 
review this is where you proof your document you share your document with others you've got spelling and grammar checker your thesaurus your word count you can have your document read to you you can check the accessibility you can even translate languages with word words language translator here put comments in if you turn on track changes any changes you make to a document will be recorded uh, right there in the document you can share that with somebody co-workers if you're writing a book with somebody uh, they will be able to accept or reject the changes one at a time or all changes at once. If you receive a document that's been written with track changes, you can do the same. You can have two versions of the same document, compare the two, and combine the two into one clean document. Here's where you password protect your documents if you would like. Um, so that's all on your review menu. On your view menu, you can view rulers, grid lines, navigation panes, so you can move through your document. If, you, if this were more than one page, you'd see them here. You can choose not to view that stuff. You can view one page, multiple pages. Again, if this were a multiple page document, you would see multiple pages laid out here. Uh, you can do page width, one page. You can set your zoom. I like 150. You can do print layout, which is what you see is what you get, or web, web layout, what it would look like on the internet. You can do outline or draft mode. What's really great here is if you are easily distracted, Word has this great focus mode gets rid of everything there's nothing there but you and what you're writing it's that simple if you want to see your menus just move your cursor up you can see them come on back down again dark background your white paper just you and what you're writing no distractions hit escape you can easily get out of that back to the main window so there you have it that uh, is an overview of the word menus Hope it was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified when we have new videos for you. We appreciate you and look forward to seeing you again.